spring cleaning time and as important as it is to declutter your physical space it's just as important to declutter your digital space so today i'm going to be walking you through how i declutter my laptop my phone my social media all so i don't get stressed out and overwhelmed when i open them up let's get into it Let's start out with our computers. The first and best thing I did was buy a hard drive. Of course, mine is cute and pink, but it has a ton of storage and is going to be vital in making space on my computer. Before moving anything to my hard drive, I went through and deleted things I didn't need anymore and made folders for what I wanted to keep. Personally, I refuse to have files on my desktop. It automatically stresses me out and I never end up clicking on them anyways, so I moved all these files into folders as well. I then used my hard drive to move these folders off my computer, only keeping the ones I use on a regular basis. After everything has been categorized, moved onto a hard drive, or just put in a folder, I like to empty out my trash, just get it out of there, you know, it's, it's trash day, we're getting rid of it. Nothing feels better than hitting zero in your inbox. I cannot stand seeing a number next to my little mail icon or an inbox that has like 10 million red emails. Like, girl, delete them or move them into a folder, please. I do not want to see them. Unsubscribe from that email list you signed up for to get a coupon that one time. You do not need to have that in your life anymore. As someone who loves to shop, unsubscribing from like 90% of clothing websites has saved me money and is saving me the hassle to have to mass delete emails every single day. I also like to have a cute and motivating wallpaper. The one I have currently is a vision board I made at the start of 2022 and seeing it reminds me of all the aspirations I have for the year. Creating or choosing a new wallpaper is kind of like switching up the decor in your house. It just feels fresh, revitalized, and makes you feel more ready to take on your tasks. Another important one is bookmarks. I don't know about you, but I will bookmark things and keep them there for years without ever actually clicking on them again. It is also super hard to find the certain website you're actually looking for when your bookmarks are all in a big jumble. Like, someone please tell me why I have a recipe for Brussels sprouts next to a link to an infamous cults website. So you already know what I'm gonna say. Delete what you don't need and categorize the rest into folders. Now I'll be able to decipher between my recipes and my shopping cart wish list. Now that our computers are looking clean and organized, it's time to move on to our phones. I don't know about you, but most of my storage ends up being dedicated to photos and videos. I know it can be a hassle to go through, so I usually like to go through and delete the photos when I'm on a long plane ride or watching TV, kind of just as a mindless activity. You can treat it almost like a little game to see how many you can delete and how much space you can free up on your phone. So like any quadruples of photos, screenshots you don't need, blurry photos, it's time to go. I then empty that trash as well to make sure that none of these photos are taking up any space on my phone. I go through and do this with the apps as well. Unfortunately, this is the one time that I'm not a folders girl. I'm not someone who likes to use folders on my phone. I'm sure I would get used to it, but I just prefer to have it all out in the open and like I have it in a certain way where I can just automatically click on everything. I don't want to forget about them, you know? Object permanence is hard, people. But I delete apps I don't use and remove other apps like Postmates off my home screen so I'm not tempted to use it all the time. And you know, while we're on our phones, might as well do a little social media refresh. In honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, I'm taking some time to declutter my social media accounts. Go through who you follow and unfollow or mute anyone whose posts no longer relate to you or no longer make you feel good. You can also unfollow accounts that are no longer active and maybe even find some new accounts to help brighten up your feed with positive and inspiring content. All right, y'all, that is it. Our digital declutter is complete. I hope that this, you know, brought you some joy, brought you some inspiration to declutter your own digital spaces. Let me know if you like this video. I would love to do more spring cleaning, maybe moving on to my physical space next. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on my other socials, and see you next time. Bye!